Did your doctor just give you uh, a written or a paper sheet that has a whole bunch of exercises they're suggesting that you do to help heal whatever joint problem that you're suffering from? In this video, that's what I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about the pitfalls of simply receiving a sheet of paper with some exercises on it. As much as that sounds like an amazing option, like, wow, okay, everything that I need to make myself better is on this sheet of paper. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna do them. That sounds amazing. And especially if the way that the whole doctor visit was, went something to the effect of, we're gonna do an MRI, we're gonna give you a cortisone shot, and then if you go home and do these exercises, you should be all good. And if by any chance that you're not good after doing these exercises and all these other things, then we'll discuss surgery. The idea that you're gonna go home and get have these exercises that you can do starting just at your house sounds amazing. But true to many things in life, if it was simply as easy as reading directions, then all the Ikea furniture that I've ever bought would not have caused such a devastatingly stressful situation trying to read and figure out where all those little bits and pieces go. And, you know, I get halfway through it and I realize I put the second board on backwards and then you have to undo it, you know, undo everything you just did and then re-put everything back together. Of course, that time, you know how everything works, so it goes a little bit smoother, so you do get a little bit of a triumph. In other situations like grandma's favorite recipe, if it was really as simple as just putting the ingredients that were written on the sheet of paper, then you wouldn't have had to try it five times before you actually got it the way that you, you the best you could to get it as close to the way that grandma used to make it. it. It just sort of happens that just reading things on paper gives you a really good outline. It gives you an amazing place to start, but there are all these nuances that are missed. And that is definitely highlighted when you go home and you're going to try to use the exercises that that well-meaning doctor handed you to help you heal your joint pain or muscle pain. I have two examples of this that, I, that just instantly come to my mind. I had a friend of mine who accidentally fell off the back end of his truck. He was like on the tailgate, took one step back and you know, there, there wasn't any more tailgate left and he landed very hard on the side of his arm. So he tried to brush it off, ice, you know, cause it did, he could move it, but that pain still was there and it was nagging. So he ended up going to the doctor and the doctor said, there's no break, good news. <laughs> uh, here, we're gonna give you a cortisone shot and here are these exercises. So my friend being like everybody else was very hopeful, right? Got a cortisone shot to get rid of his pain. MRI or the, the x-ray said that there was no break, all good news, and now all I have to do is do these exercises. The problem is that we're humans and this is painful. His arm hurts and those exercises were putting him in positions he hadn't been in before, he'd never done them before, and so he got very confused, very overwhelmed, and when things hurt, he just stopped doing them. And thankfully in his case, he, he you know, the quarters and shot did his, his, its job and he didn't need anything, but he never touched those exercises. Not once because, it, or well, I guess only once rather, right? Because he tried them and it was too overwhelming and he just put it down. And now for another friend, I would, he, his father works as a personal trainer. And so they thought, hmm, this is gonna be easy. They gave us the exercises. We're gonna go to the gym. We're gonna do these. It's gonna be awesome. So even though he was helping his son, you know, coaching his son on how to do the exercises, to help prevent you know, his knee injury getting worse, they got there and they realized that they didn't understand what all the words meant, like how to set the, the exercise up. So they were trying to fiddle around with how you're supposed to stand, what it means when it says slightly bent, what it means when you know, you're supposed to stand on one leg and how much resistance is okay and you know, what's the proper setup for all this. And so even though his father had a very extensive background in exercises, his son was injured and he didn't understand what an okay amount of pain to push through was and he didn't understand what was a bad pain. Because there are all these nuances that go on when you're injured and you're looking at this sheet of paper full of exercises. And that I think is what is truly missed, is that it sounds amazing to just go home with this exercise program, 
But for most people, it's not the exercises that you really need. You need the encouragement. You need to understand what normal pain is, what, how it should feel when things are um, moving correctly, uh, how much discomfort you should put up with. This pain doesn't feel exactly like this pain, so how do I discern if this is good or bad, okay, not doing anything, completely wrecking everything, but how do you navigate through that? And when it's your health and all you have in front of you is the sheet of paper, it's very easy just to push that sheet of paper over and say, well, the next thing on the doctor's agenda was that we have to have surgery. And because obviously if these exercises didn't work, then movement isn't gonna be helpful because these exercises didn't help. I did, everything hurt, it didn't, it didn't get me where I wanted to go. And that to me is devastating because it, it negates all, again, like the grandma's recipe, there are nuances to everything that's written on the sheet of paper and to be good at anything or to understand the, the whole sense of it requires more than just a two dimensional sheet of paper with exercises and small descriptions. And so for me, it's disheartening to hear that somebody just was given exercises because with proper guidance, a little bit of encouragement and truly understanding how the exercise is supposed to work, exercises are fantastic for reducing inflammation for improving joint health, for making the muscles activate uh, properly. And in many cases, activate in the right order because things might actually be strong, they just might not be coordinated properly. And so with a good professional coach that understands how the body is supposed to move and understands all the nuances for the exercises that are written on that two-dimensional shape, it, they can catapult you into having your body do its own healing. And so, in this video, what I really want to offer is one more hope that just because if the if you are in that situation where you received um, just a sheet of paper and you're debating going back to the doctor for the surgery that seems like it's imminent, before you do that, if you call and you have that exercise program, I'm going to offer 50% off of my usual um, evaluation rate so that we can go through those exercises and formally educate you on how to do them correctly to give you the best shot at avoiding that surgery or avoiding that second round of cortisone shots and to help you facilitate getting back to your favorite activities with the least amount of delay as possible. Let's get you back in moving. Just a little bit of professional like guidance might be all you need to catapult you to the finish line much faster than it will take you to go through the surgery, go through rehab afterwards, and deal with all the recovery post-surgery. So I hope that this information is helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I love fielding questions. I hope, I hope you're having a great day.